The following is a video presentation on the proper use of the KJ-2200 and the KJ-3000 water jetting machines. It is designed to make the operation of your KJ-2200 and KJ-3000 water jetting machines easy and efficient. The KJ-2200 water jetting machine is designed to clean drains one and one quarter to six inch in diameter, up to 200 feet in length. The KJ-3000 water jetting machine is designed for two to eight inch lines up to 300 feet in length. Warning, these jetters are designed to clean drains and should not be used for other purposes. Do not spray flammable liquids or toxic chemicals such as insecticides or weed killer. Before assembling or operating the KJ-2200 or KJ-3000, be sure to read the operator's manual. Safety instructions are located in the front of the manual. Read and understand all the safety and operating instructions before operating the KJ-2200 or KJ-3000. Read all labels on the machine. Always wear safety glasses and rubber boots when operating a jetter. For your convenience, this video is divided into the following segments so you can quickly find what you need. Machine setup engine startup and pressure adjustment, machine operation, indoor applications, troubleshooting, technical service. Machine setup. If your machine is new, you will need to remove the temporary shipping plug in the pump, gearbox, and Honda motor and replace with the enclosed permanent dipstick and or breather caps. The pump and gearbox housing will have the proper amount of oil and gear lube direct from the factory. You must add the SAE 10W30 detergent oil to the Honda engine prior to starting the motor. Check the engine's crankcase oil level each time before starting. If it's low, add Honda four-stroke oil or SAE 10W30 detergent oil. Next, check the engine's fuel level. If it is low, add unleaded gasoline with a pump octane rating of 86 or higher. See the enclosed Honda owner's manual for details. Warning! Use caution when handling gasoline. Do not overfill the fuel tank and do not spill fuel. Check the pump oil level. Your jetter has been shipped with oil. However, when it runs low, fill it with SAE 30 weight detergent oil. Finally, Check the gearbox for the proper gear lube level. If low, replenish with 90 weight gear lube. Connect the quick coupling fitting to the water supply hose. Connect the water supply hose to the jetter inlet and close the inlet supply valve. Connect the other end of the water supply hose to the water faucet and turn the faucet on. Make sure there are no kinks or unnecessary bends in the supply hose. Hot water improves the jetter's performance, especially when cleaning grease blockages. Warning! Limit the water temperature to below 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Connect a jetter hose to the jetter's outlet quick coupling on the end of the connection hose. If a hose reel is used, attach the connection hose to the plug fitting on the hose reel. Next, insert the jetter hose 6 to 8 inches into the drain without a jetter nozzle. Now open the inlet supply valve and run water through the jetter and hoses until all air has been purged. Close the inlet supply valve and attach a jetter nozzle to the jet hose. Hand tighten for a snug fit. Insert the jet hose into the line several feet. Open the inlet supply valve and verify that water flows freely through the nozzle. Engine startup and pressure adjustment. Turn the unloader valve counterclockwise to ensure the pressure is back down. Turn the fuel valve to the on position. Move the choke lever to the close position. Move the throttle lever slightly to the left. To start the engine, 
turn the engine switch to the on position. Pull the starter grip lightly until resistance is felt, then pull briskly. If your KJ3000 is equipped with an electrical start, insert the key into the ignition and turn to the on position. Turn the key to the start position to start the engine and release the key after the engine is started. As the engine warms up, gradually move the choke lever to the open position and adjust the throttle lever to the desired engine speed. See your Honda operator's manual for further details. Machine operation. Warning. Keep hands away from the nozzle and do not direct the water discharge at any person. High pressure spray can result in skin penetration and serious injury. To operate your water jetter, adjust the unloading valve so that the pressure gauge is in the green zone or 2200 PSI for the KJ2200 and 3000 PSI for the KJ3000. Warning, do not operate the jetter above the rated pressure. For normal jetting, turn the pulse actuator to the off position and guide the hose into the line by hand. When the jetter nozzle encounters a bend, its advance will usually slow or stop. The jetter hose has a slight bend or set to it. The reverse thrust of the nozzle will advance the jetter hose but it is also necessary to manually feed and rotate the jetter hose to work the set around the bend. If the hose won't advance, pull on the hose slightly and rotate the hose a quarter to a half turn so the set will align itself with the bend. Then advance the hose forward. In some cases, simply rotating the hose will not be enough to negotiate a bend or trap. In these cases, it will be necessary to induce some pulse action. In the pulse mode, the pump introduces large pulsation and jetter hose vibration, which will ease hose advancement. Rotate the pulse actuator lever clockwise to induce the pulse. While in the pulse mode, again rotate the hose to align the set of the hose with the bend in the pipe. This technique will normally overcome stubborn bends or traps. Once through the bend or trap, return the pulse control actuator lever to the off position and continue the jetter head's advance. If the jetter nozzle does not pass right through the blockage, combine the pulse action of the pump with manual manipulation of the hose. Once through the obstruction, Pass the jetter nozzle back and forth several times with the pulse off through the section of the drain to ensure thorough clearing. Then advance the nozzle several feet further down the line before retrieving the hose. Finally, once the jetter head is through all bends and obstructions, slowly retrieve the jetter hose and clean the inside walls of the pipe. Warning. Never permit the end of the hose to rotate out of the pipe being clean. The hose can whip, causing serious injury. After using your jetter, run clear water through the jetter and hose or hoses. Make sure the nozzle is removed from the hose for maximum water flow. After flushing, be sure to use the winterizing kit if you plan to store the jetter in freezing temperatures. Indoor Applications For indoor applications, position the jetter in the appropriate outdoor location. Warning! Because of the exhaust fumes, never run the engine in an enclosed or contained area. Disconnect the hose reel connection hose from the jetter quick connect and remove the entire hose reel. Move the hose reel and the foot valve to the indoor or remote drain access area. Prior to making the connections to the remote foot valve, apply thread sealant to prevent leaks to both foot valve connections. Attach the 50-foot interconnect hose or any hose rated for at least 3,000 PSI to the jetter quick connect. Connect the other end to the foot valve fitting marked in. Connect the hose reel connection hose to the foot valve quick connect marked out. 
You can now use your jetter inside using the foot valve to actuate the system's pressure. Troubleshooting. If the jetter does not generate its respective PSI, make sure the engine throttle is adjusted properly. Make sure the water faucet is completely open and the inlet supply valve is open. Check the filter screen at the inlet port to the jetter. Make certain it is clear of debris. Make sure the pulse actuator is in the off position. Cycle the pulse actuator on and off several times while the jetter is running to clear any trapped air in the system. Rotate the unloader valve clockwise to make sure it increases pressure. For the KJ3000, check the inlet strainer and make certain it is clear of debris by removing the bottom bowl. When the pressure gauge reaches its respective PSI, you are ready to begin operating. If your jetter runs but produces little or no pressure, make certain the water supply faucet is on. Make certain the jetter's water supply inlet valve is on. Make certain the water supply hose is clear and not kinked or collapsed. If your jetter will not adjust to full operating pressure at startup, remove the nozzle from the jet hose and run the jetter to flush air or debris from the system. Remove the nozzle and clean thruster orifices with the nozzle cleaning tool. If the jetter pressure gauge oscillates from 100 to 2200 PSI for the KJ2200 or 500 to 3000 PSI for the KJ3000, remove the nozzle. Then use the nozzle cleaning tool to clear nozzle orifices, making sure to select the proper wire size and push completely through each thruster orifice to remove debris. Remove the nozzle and insert the jet hose in the drain line. Then run the jetter to flush trapped air or debris.